Good morning, everyone. This is Carl F. Rose, recording live from Bedford, Pennsylvania, on Monday, December 22nd, 2014. And the reason for the delay in starting this list really is awful. This, um, I'm, I'm recording this from uh, the, web, the YouTube webcam, and it's just... Uh, um, it just it sucks, basically. Anyway, um, this is about the pathetic Detroit Lions, and I'm going to emphasize pathetic. Even though they beat the Bears 20 to 14 yesterday, they played horribly. Um, actually, they should have won by quite a bit. 17. They had 17 points that were taken off the board. Two uh, interceptions that, that Stafford threw uh, should have been touchdowns, and they had a field goal blocked. So they've got a lot to do. They could still win their division next week, but I highly doubt it. And the, the thing that bothered me more than anything else was um, their center, Dominic Riola, who I don't like anyway. He's a big, fat moron. Uh, at the end of one play, he... Uh, he purposely stepped on the ankle of a defender who was still lying on the ground and knocked him out for a couple of plays. Thankfully, he didn't, he didn't injure the guy. But this is the second time in about three or four weeks that he's done this to an opposing player. He needs I don't care how good he is, and he's really not that good. He needs to be fined and suspended for at least two games, for next week and also for the playoff game, which they'll lose. Uh, and that's just the way it goes. They, the Lions need to get rid of them. Uh, they don't need people like that on, on their team. Um, and they really need to uh, work on getting a better offensive a line in the off season. I said this in one of my other videos. But, and again, I'm going to call them pathetic because that's what they are. And until they, until they uh, address these issues, they're not going anywhere. They're going nowhere fast. They're going to... Uh, I like their new coach. I think he is going to weed out these problems. I think in the off season, um, the Lions are going to you're going to see a lot of changes on the Lions. Um, their defense is playing great. He he went in there uh, the season specifically to shape up the defense because the defense was really playing out of control and undisciplined. He's got the defense in shape. Now, as players on the offense that are just um, uh, just doing it. So he's going to get things right. And um, once they get both sides of the ball uh, going, uh, I think um, next year we're going to see a different Lions team. But, th but they've still got to contend with the other teams are going to be uh, improved. The Vikings are... They... They may have a bad record, but the Vikings are a lot better than what their records indicate. And uh, trust me, the Bears are not going to be going uh, five and eleven or six and ten next year. The Bears are gonna they're gonna make some changes, and it's gonna be a very tough decision. And I wouldn't be surprised if the Lions go and end up in last place next year, unless they get these things. They they really need a lot of improvement. Uh, I don't expect them to go very far. They are in the playoffs, but they're they're one and done, period. And um, so it looks like the Seattle Seahawks are the best team in uh, football. So I'm just going to say what I'm going to say: Go Seahawks, because that's what I said at the beginning of the year. They're going to repeat. They're going to be Super Bowl winners, and um, good for them. Go Seahawks, and the Lions can just think about next year and uh, what they have to do because they're going nowhere fast. That's all I have to say today. Have a good day.